This is Mega Marsh. About 200 waterfalls got reintroduced here in 2012 and 2013 and it's become quite famous for them. They've got their own following of photographers that come and sit and watch them all day. So this is one of our mink monitoring rafts. Inside there's a clay pad. If we do find mink prints then we'd need to call the mink trapper who would set a live capture trap. There's little mammal prints but it's hard to tell what ones they are but no mink prints which is a good sign. These are quite small, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Those they, are smaller than the ones. They are small, so. but I think these are from the juvenile one because. The juvenile pool. Mm. Some people say it smells like jasmine tea, but I don't quite get that. No. Do, do you think it smells like jasmine, jasmine tea? tea? No, I've never thought that. Jasmine. If you find um, the sprain or the scat and give it a sniff, well, you can see the difference between the two anyway. They look quite different, but yeah, giving it a sniff, you'll know whether you've got a mink or an otter. And then lots of people have degrees now and people are lacking practical skills so it really does set you above people that are just coming out of uni and they're lacking those skills so yeah I think it makes you 100% more employable. Near the water, um, I've got both Charlie and I've got um, throw lines and uh, first aid. We're in Redwick which is um, on the Gwent levels and we're surveying for water voles. Um, with us we have the volunteers that carry out the mink monitoring. So we're looking for feeding signs, latrines and burrows, so just be careful where you right. step. You are responsible, I suppose, if you're leading it. You need to consider livestock. These are all farmers' fields, and whilst we've got permission to go on the land, they, they don't have to move the livestock away for us. They can be quite unpredictable. The deep water and steep banks, especially when you're doing these sorts of surveys. The vegetation is so dense that you can't actually see where the edge of the bank is, so you've got to be really careful. Practical skills are a huge part of it, um, but I think communicational skills are also really important. Um, and you do get to interact with lots of different people, from volunteers to colleagues to experts, other professionals, uh, landowners. I mean, you have to interact with a lot of people and it requires no, you to interact in different ways. So. Yeah, so it's another skill that you can take away. So I came across this burrow and it's got all bits of cut vegetation inside, which makes me think that it might be water bowl. It does give you more confidence because you get a better understanding. When you do volunteering, sometimes, you know, you just go out and do what you're told to do. Whereas when you're helping volunteers, you need to have a bit more understanding. You need to know a bit more detail about what you're doing. So you need to be confident in it. So we've got three feeding remains now. Well, the OCN is the vocational qualification that you get at the end of Lima. A lot of it is evidence gathering whilst you're out in the field, but a lot of it is also theory work, so it involves you doing some research. and So it forces you to like read up on things and learn a bit more, which is really good. And then at the end of it, you get um, your vocational qualification. This is a throw rope um, that is used for saving something from the water. So the golden rule is to not make any contact with them because it'll pull you in, they might panic. I had a, a, a bachelor's degree and then a master's and I still couldn't get a decent job after that. So you have to then do a few years of voluntary experience and then you have to kind of do the very mundane jobs and then you work your way up. And I think doing Lima is a real shortcut through actually a lot of the skills that you might gain by years of volunteering. So I, mean, I think it would really make getting a, a good job after university, you know, much quicker. It's really good networking. You meet so many different people and everybody knows so much and is so happy to share their knowledge with you. It's quite full on, but I'm, I'm loving it. I really enjoy it. I don't want to, I don't want to leave. <laughs>